What is up you guys? Zikru here. And I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but I just uploaded one. Day with Logan. Episode 4. This is, I would make an episode 5 right now, but this is going to be episode 4. Not a 5, a 4. You know why it's gonna, not going to be a 5 and a 4? Because I haven't done one in a while. And I don't feel like doing a 5 when I can just combine both things in a 4. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. I'm going to do a 4 instead of a 5. And a, not a 5, but a 4. So yeah, this is episode 4, not 5. This is 4. So, yeah, so, um... I've been, um... I'm just gonna tell you, um, I'm gonna get on my calendar on my computer so I can tell you exactly when this happened. Uh, so, <coughs> the beginning. No, wait, hold. It was sometime, it was the weekend of the uh, 2nd of November. So, me and my friends, um, the guys been following, um, uh, and now I'm not going to do this yet. I'm not going to be following on Twitter and stuff. Not until, like, become really popular in my videos. But, um, if you're watching this now, I'm not sure what time you're watching or popular or not. I don't care not to post on Twitter until I don't know. Stop listening! This is all false! No, I'm joking. It's true. That's why I call it David Logan. True facts. And so, um, on the second, um, we were filming Death Before Honor, the little introduction, because we wanted the snow, and, um, I'm sorry, I had to eat dinner, and I got kind of stuck in my teeth, so, uh, yeah, um, uh, we were filming, and so, we had, um, a new crewmate, Mark Campia, um, he's be playing a Bryce, and so what's happening is, um, we were just filming, and someone called the cops on us, and so they're talking to us, Chris, Josh, and Chris's little sister, Shelby, they're flipped out, they're like flipping out, like, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do, they're like, I don't know, Chris's little sister flipped out the most, she's like, cause, um, what happened was they came, she got all scared, and she's like mumbling and she's about to cry. And so I'm gonna tell you what happened from there. When the police got there, they said we heard her playing with guns. I'm like, yeah, you want me to go get them inside? They're like, no, 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 we need to get permission first. I'm like, yeah, okay. Well, I didn't say yeah, okay. Chris said yeah, okay. And I'm telling Chris, Chris, I pulled Chris aside and said, don't let them inside the house until your mom and dad get home. Cause that'll make more sense. So he's like, no, do the comfort of that one. I don't care if the cops are there. And so, he calls his parents, and the cops talk to his mom. His mom was chill with it, but, um, I'm sorry, it's a little stuff stuck in my teeth, but, um, then, so on and so on, um, I will let him inside, and they said, show me the guns, I'm like, they're up here, and, uh, we went up to the roof, um, and not to the roof, into the room, Chris's room, we got all the airsoft guns, and he's like, He's like, whoa, some of these look really realistic. I'm like, yeah, that's why they call them airsoft guns. And so, um, so, as we go on, we go downstairs, and I said, can you do me a favor? Like, I said, can you do me a promise? And he's like, yeah, what is it? And I say to him, uh, I said, don't break the guns, please. They're very expensive. He's like, yeah, I'm a firearm expert. So we're sitting in there. Well, no. As he comes out the door, he sees beer. It's not our beer. Chris's friend's beer that he left out because he was helping chop down a bush. Um, so, yeah. And, um, he had to call his parents again to make sure that, um, the person that was there was drinking it, not us. And so when that happened, um, when that happened, um, he, uh, took the beer and they probably drank it. Uh-huh. They probably drank it all. And so, um, probably right here I'll show you the clips that happened. Um, so far, how we know the police, I got a balloon and I started sucking in the helium. And I look to my side because I hear someone rolling up. I look to the side, two police cars. And that's where the whole story is. 
began. And I'm going to show the clip probably right, right now, about five minutes. And so, yeah. And so, we're scrolling along. So yeah, those were the clips that you saw of the policemen. And they're flipping out on me for looking outside the window like, what's the problem? They're still outside on this property. And so, they took our guns and stuff. And so, and Shelby, Chris's little sister, got all scared. And she's like, because there was a chainsaw out there. And she's like, why well, did the cops saw the chainsaw? They probably would have thought they were killing me, 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 God, I was like the most angriest I was mad at her ever. She's sweet and stuff, but... Really? Shut up. <clears throat> but yeah, so, um... I don't know. So yeah, so Chris's mom and dad came back, and they uh, talked about it, and so... Talked to us and saying what happened, and I told them the whole story. The cops came, took the guns, blah, 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 left. And so, they went the guns, we were waiting there for about 10 to 15 minutes, blah, blah, blah. We, were talk we weren't talking about it, we were talking about other stuff, making jokes. So when they came back, um, I'm like, sick, our guns are back, can't wait to use them. I open my bag, I'm like, what's wrong? I'm, I'm thinking to myself, my AK's broke, my Scorpion's broke, um, every all my pills and stuff were good, it's just not AK and Scorpion were broke. And I told my dad about it, and he wasn't mad at all. Same thing with me. I was perfectly fine with them taking the guns and we getting them back, but they had no intentions of breaking them. They broke Josh's sniper, his um, his sniper scope. They ripped it off. They chopped my AK in half. They bent like the scorpion, and they had no intentions of breaking them whatsoever. Halloween police. I wish I could say stuff, but I'm not sure if it's illegal and you're not blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. Um, that's true. But um, that's the only, uh, like I said, back near five minutes, that's the only footage you see of the police. Because I, um, ho I ho hope, like I, I was thinking to myself, Chris, don't, don't press that end record button. Please, please, please. I better check out my camera. It was like, I'm like, I'm like, you guys wanna hear my voice? We look over and he's like, no, 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 no. He's acting all cool, like the police are here, no, 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 like that. But, um, sorry to say that, but, um, it's true, Chris. Mm. But, um, yeah, they had no intentions of breaking them. And so, So, so on, I called my dad, and he said he'll file a claims court, he got lawyers, but that never happened, because it's too much of a hassle, we had to get everyone that's seen it, his neighbors, blah, 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 Mark, Chris, Josh, uh, uh, me, the people that saw us around, we gotta make sure, and so, and so, what you mean? what I'm saying. God. Oh, yeah. And so, basically, yeah, and uh, my dad, he's ordering me new guns. Same thing, and I'm getting a little bit more. I'm, I'm gonna get more reviews, airsoft reviews about it. And uh, I'm getting green gas guns, so that's good. And, uh, what else is there? I'm <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm just burping. I'm sorry, you guys. So, um, yeah. And so, um, next thing is, this is, um, this would be episode 5, but since I don't feel like doing episode 5, it's going to be a episode 4, this is episode 4 part 2, yeah, like I said, episode 4 part 2, right here, starting in 3, 2, 1, welcome, you guys, to part 2 of the video, I did not pause or skip anything, I just felt like doing this, I went, because I would do, I didn't know what to think, and I'm glad to say that um, there I'd have nothing really to talk about. 
Except, um, I've been doing some, um, I'm glad. Thank you, Obama. Peace. Uh, thank you for being our president for another term. Don't be haters, you guys. Don't unsubscribe or anything. It's my personal opinion. You shouldn't hate people on their opinions. Um, like, for example, people like different video games, different football players, different golfers. So, yeah, you can't hate them on their opinion. So, don't hate them for on their opinion. So, yeah, thank you, Obama, for a second term. Hope you do good, again, for another four years. So, yep. And, what else is there? So, yeah, uh, oh my god, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, tonight, Black Ops 2! Yeah, baby, Black Ops 2 is coming out today! Well, actually, tomorrow. But at Target today, I'm not sure when you guys are going to see this video, it's coming out today. Um, at Target, they're having a thing from 10 to 1 for Black Ops 2. Food and stuff, it's going to be sick. Um, so much stuff that we could do to have it. And I'm ordered at GameStop. And they told me I can get a, well, um, I'm getting the season pass for it, and also I'm getting this little pass for, um, so I can cut in front of everyone and I can get my game first. Yeah, I feel special, and I'm going to be skipping school to get it. Yeah, it's Tuesday, November, whatever. Because I don't, me and my friend Brandon Patterson, Nulo, aka Nulo or Rigby 70s PlayStation name, um, that's what we're gonna do. I gotta stop saying, um, I gotta figure out my script. So, yeah, so we're uh, figuring it out. I just said it again. Cut up. So, um, cut. So, ah, caught myself. Well, let's get on to the. Oh, God. Punch, punch, punch. Alright. So, we talked about it for a while, and I said that. I know, I'm just gonna say, um, I don't care. I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna waste like five minutes of it saying, mm, uh, uh, so yeah, so as we get on, um, I'm not sure if this is gonna be fuzzy or anything, I'm not sure if my videos have been fuzzy, but let's get on, um, I'm sorry if it's, uh, fuzzy, I'm gonna try to fix that, find out what the sound is, I thought it was my air conditioner, cause it's still hot as ever in here, but I opened my window, since it's cool, it's letting the cool air in, and so, um, as we do that, so we are we're gonna skip school on uh, Tuesday, November thirteenth, or we're gonna get it tonight at twelve oh one, and it's gonna be really fun. Um, I'm gonna tell you what order I'm gonna play. I'm gonna be playing campaign, cause campaign I'm not sure if you're gonna unlock stuff at the end of the campaign. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing the campaign, zombies, then multiplayer. I'm mostly into digging into the zombies. I don't want to figure out what guns are good in uh, zombies and campaign so I can figure out what gun classes I should do for um, multiplayer. And I haven't checked out any videos about Black Ops 2 except trailers. Because I don't want to ruin myself. See what guns I'm like. That gun sucks. I want to figure it out myself. And I hate my friend. I'm not going to say his name. I hate my friend. I hate people that are like fat and that don't do anything except play video games. And they think they're all cool. And so this one kid, he's getting handbooks and everything. He has handbooks for every single one of the games that have handbooks. I mean, the only handbook games you should have for games, Grand Theft Auto, Pokemon, and basically, like, Scribble Knots or, like, basically nothing. You don't need, you got to figure it out yourself. You got to figure it about, about yourself. I mean, like, for example, um, say this was a manual, say there's a game called Stars and Planets. Yeah, you got to get information about it. Like, yeah, like, um, for example, the sun, it is, the core temperature for it is 23,400,000 23, degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's hot. And, um, basically that. I mean, yeah, to say if this was a game, that'd be perfect manual. You can get information about it. But you don't need information about guns. Figure it about yourself. All you people out there, I don't. if you're new to Black Ops or like Call of Duty, that's okay. But if you've been playing it for years, there's no need for that. Hate cheaters. Hate hackers. Hate all those people. Just unsubscribe to me if you're one of those people. I don't care.
I hate people that do that. I know this is going to be a pretty long day with Logan, but still, um, I hate people that do that, and you don't need a manual for a game that you haven't even played yet. And you can get it, like, after you play the game to get some more insight about it. Because it's going to tell you where all the intel is, which to find that about yourself. You don't need no stupid handbook. You would be yelling right now, but I don't feel like yelling. And so, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to go get Black Ops 2. So, yeah, I think this is going to be the end of Day with Logan. And so, that's it. All right. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys um, this. Um, I got a new watch. I've been waiting for this watch for a while. I gotta take it off my wrist. Um, the only annoying part about it is when you um, take off the watch, the black thing, it doesn't go back all the way. And these little tabs right here, you have to put them. Because whenever you scratch it, they go with it. But it's actually a pretty nice watch. I mean, let me turn on the light. So, yeah, that's a nice watch. Nice and white and stuff. I'm gonna clean it, take very, very good care. You guys can see. It's not gonna be saying HD in this video because I wanna upload it today. A lot of my videos are probably gonna be HD. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys. Um, been a wonderful time talking to you and I'm gonna shorten my video, my David Flogans for a little, but since this was a combination video, um, cause I haven't done one in a while, um, I'm probably not going to show the clips. If you guys have been watching this and you're confused, um, I'm probably going to put annotations in it and say there's no no clips because I'm lazy. I'm just lazy. If I, I mean, if I have time, I would do it, but I'm a simple kid who has school and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so, summary of this. Alright, so there is Police Guns, Black Ops 2 watch and just for an example this is um i think it's called uh d la Vere or something uh lt handy yep uh it's at 10 atm water resistant and it's stainless steel and it's really nice very very uh detailed i love this watch and it's actually signed on the inside by the person engraved and i really love this watch and um Love to see you guys next time. Uh, so, just for the end of this, subscribe above, comment below, and give me a thumbs up. I mean, seriously, people. Alright, so, uh, see you guys. Bye-bye. Uh,